Have you ever wondered why the ground outside can often look dirty and unclean? In this video, we'll explore 10 reasons why this might be the case. Reason 1. Natural debris is a significant contributor to the dirtiness of the ground outside. As a result of natural processes, leaves, twigs, and other organic matter fall to the ground and accumulate over time. This natural debris can create an unsightly appearance and make the ground look dirty. During the fall season, trees shed their leaves, which can accumulate on the ground outside. As these leaves decompose, they turn into a thick layer of organic matter that can be blown around by the wind. Additionally, trees can produce seeds and fruits, which can also contribute to natural debris on the ground. Furthermore, wind can blow dirt and dust around, contributing to the accumulation of natural debris on the ground outside. In dry and windy conditions, this can be especially problematic, as large amounts of dirt and debris can be carried over long distances and accumulate on the ground. Natural debris on the ground outside can also create problems beyond just an unsightly appearance. When left to accumulate, it can create a breeding ground for pests such as insects and rodents. Additionally, when it becomes wet, it can become slippery and create a safety hazard, especially for pedestrians. While natural debris is a natural part of the environment, steps can be taken to minimize its accumulation on the ground outside. Regular cleaning and maintenance can help remove fallen leaves and other debris. Additionally, planting ground cover plants or grasses can help prevent soil erosion and reduce the amount of natural debris on the ground. Overall, while natural debris is an unavoidable aspect of the environment, its accumulation can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. Taking steps to prevent its accumulation can not only improve the appearance of the environment but also promote safety and health. Reason 2. Human activity is a significant factor in the dirtiness of the ground outside. Littering, spilling food and drinks, and improper disposal of waste are all actions that can contribute to a dirty and unhygienic environment. Littering is one of the most common forms of human activity that contributes to a dirty environment. Litter such as plastic bottles, wrappers, and cigarette butts can accumulate on the ground outside and create an unsightly appearance. When litter is not properly disposed of, it can also create a hazard for wildlife and contribute to pollution of nearby bodies of water. Spilling food and drinks is another form of human activity that can contribute to a dirty environment. Food and drinks can leave stains and attract pests such as flies and rodents, creating an unhygienic environment. Additionally, spilled liquids can create slip hazards, which can be dangerous for pedestrians. Improper disposal of waste is another human activity that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. When waste is not disposed of properly, it can accumulate on the ground and create an unsightly appearance. Improperly disposed of waste can also create unpleasant odors and attract pests, which can further contribute to an unhygienic environment. In addition to creating an unsightly and unhygienic environment, human activity that contributes to the dirtiness of the ground outside can also have negative impacts on public health. Accumulation of waste and litter can create breeding grounds for pests such as mosquitoes and rats, which can carry diseases. Additionally, spilled liquids can create slip hazards, which can lead to injuries and pose a danger to pedestrians. To address the issue of human activity contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, it is important to promote responsible behavior and proper waste disposal practices. This can include initiatives such as public education campaigns, stricter enforcement of littering laws, and providing adequate waste disposal facilities in public spaces. By addressing the issue of human activity, we can work towards creating a cleaner and healthier environment for everyone. Reason 3. Foot traffic is another factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside, especially in areas with high levels of pedestrian activity. Shoes can track in dirt, mud, and other debris which can create an unsightly appearance and contribute to the buildup of natural debris and other forms of litter. During wet or rainy weather, foot traffic can be particularly problematic, as shoes can become caked in mud and debris, which can then be tracked onto sidewalks and other paved areas. This can lead to an accumulation of mud and other debris, creating slippery and potentially dangerous conditions for pedestrians. Moreover, foot traffic can also create issues for indoor spaces, as the dirt and debris tracked in can cause damage to floors and carpets, and contribute to indoor air pollution. To address the issue of foot traffic contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, a variety of solutions can be implemented. One approach is to install matting systems, which can effectively remove dirt and debris from shoes before entering indoor spaces. 
Additionally, regular cleaning and maintenance of outdoor walkways and paved areas can help to minimize the accumulation of natural debris and litter. Other solutions can include providing covered areas for pedestrians to walk during inclement weather or promoting the use of shoe covers or cleaning stations for workers and visitors. Overall, foot traffic is an unavoidable aspect of urban environments, and the impact of foot traffic on the cleanliness of the ground outside should be considered when planning and maintaining public spaces. By implementing appropriate measures, we can work towards creating cleaner and safer environments for pedestrians and reducing the negative impact of foot traffic on outdoor and indoor spaces. Reason 4. Pet waste is another factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. When pet owners do not clean up after their pets, it can lead to unsightly and unhygienic stains on the ground, as well as a buildup of unpleasant odors. Pet waste can also attract pests and contribute to the spread of disease. In addition to being unsightly, pet waste can pose a health hazard for humans and pets alike. Pet waste can contain harmful bacteria and parasites that can cause illness, particularly in children and individuals with weakened immune systems. The presence of pet waste can also make outdoor spaces less appealing and enjoyable for residents and visitors. To address the issue of pet waste contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, it is important to promote responsible pet ownership and proper waste disposal practices. This can include initiatives such as public education campaigns, providing pet waste bags and disposal stations in public spaces, and enforcing pet waste laws. One approach to encouraging responsible pet ownership is to provide incentives for pet owners who clean up after their pets. This could include offering discounts on pet food or veterinary services for individuals who demonstrate good pet ownership practices. Providing positive reinforcement can encourage pet owners to take responsibility for their pets and help to create a cleaner and healthier environment for everyone. In addition to promoting responsible pet ownership, regular cleaning and maintenance of outdoor spaces can help to minimize the impact of pet waste on the environment. Regularly scheduled cleanup efforts can help to remove pet waste and prevent it from accumulating on the ground. Overall, pet waste is a common issue that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. By promoting responsible pet ownership and proper waste disposal practices, we can work towards creating a cleaner and healthier environment for everyone. Reason 5. Air pollution is a significant factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. Various forms of air pollution, such as smog, smoke, and industrial emissions, can settle on the ground and leave a layer of grime on the surface. This can include dirt, dust, and other pollutants that are carried by the wind. The impact of air pollution on the cleanliness of the ground outside can be particularly pronounced in urban areas, where high levels of vehicular traffic and industrial activity can contribute to increased levels of pollution. In addition to creating an unsightly appearance, air pollution can also have negative impacts on human health, including respiratory issues, cardiovascular disease, and neurological problems. To address the issue of air pollution contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, it is important to take measures to reduce the levels of pollution in the air. This can include implementing emission control regulations for industrial facilities and vehicles, promoting alternative modes of transportation, and supporting renewable energy initiatives. In addition to reducing air pollution levels, regular cleaning and maintenance of outdoor spaces can help to minimize the impact of air pollution on the environment. This can include sweeping sidewalks and paved areas to remove debris and pollutants, and washing outdoor surfaces to remove grime and stains. Overall, air pollution is a significant factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. By taking measures to reduce air pollution levels and maintaining outdoor spaces, we can work towards creating cleaner and healthier environments for everyone. Reason 6. Weather conditions are another factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. Different types of weather, such as rain, snow, and wind, can all have an impact on the cleanliness of outdoor spaces. Rain and snow can create muddy and slushy conditions, particularly in areas with heavy foot traffic. This can result in an accumulation of dirt and debris on the ground, which can be unsightly and difficult to clean up. In addition, rain and snow can wash pollutants from the air and surfaces onto the ground, contributing to the buildup of grime and stains. Wind is another weather condition that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. Strong winds can blow in debris from surrounding areas, including leaves, dirt, and other natural materials. In areas with high levels of air pollution, wind can also carry in pollutants that settle on the ground, further contributing to the buildup of grime and stains. To address the issue of weather conditions contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, 
it is important to take appropriate measures to mitigate the impact of these factors. This can include implementing stormwater management practices to reduce the amount of runoff and erosion caused by rain and snow, as well as providing appropriate drainage systems to prevent flooding and water accumulation. In addition, regular cleaning and maintenance of outdoor spaces can help to minimize the impact of weather conditions on the cleanliness of the ground outside. This can include sweeping and washing surfaces to remove dirt and debris, as well as applying treatments to prevent the buildup of stains and grime. Overall, weather conditions are a significant factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. By taking measures to mitigate the impact of weather conditions and maintaining outdoor spaces, we can work towards creating cleaner and healthier environments for everyone. Reason 7. Lack of maintenance is another factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. When outdoor spaces are not regularly cleaned and maintained, they can become overrun with dirt, debris, and other unsightly materials. This can occur in both residential and commercial settings. In residential areas, homeowners may neglect to clean their lawns, sidewalks, and other outdoor areas, allowing dirt, leaves, and other debris to accumulate. In commercial areas, businesses may fail to regularly clean and maintain their parking lots, sidewalks, and other outdoor spaces, leading to similar issues. Over time, the accumulation of dirt and debris can create an unsightly appearance and can even lead to health and safety hazards. For example, debris left on the ground can attract rodents and other pests, while slippery surfaces can create slip and fall hazards for pedestrians. To address the issue of lack of maintenance contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, it is important to establish regular cleaning and maintenance schedules. This can include hiring professional cleaners to regularly sweep, wash, and maintain outdoor areas, as well as implementing community programs to encourage residents to keep their outdoor spaces clean. Regular maintenance can help prevent the buildup of dirt and debris, ensuring that outdoor areas remain clean and safe for everyone. In addition, regular maintenance can also help prevent other issues, such as erosion and deterioration of outdoor surfaces. Overall, lack of maintenance is a significant factor that can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. By establishing regular cleaning and maintenance schedules and encouraging residents and businesses to take responsibility for their outdoor spaces, we can work towards creating cleaner and healthier environments for everyone. Reason 8. Construction and renovation projects are a common source of debris and dust on the ground outside. During these projects, workers may use heavy machinery, tools, and equipment to complete their tasks. This can create an excess of dirt, dust, and debris that can accumulate on the ground and surrounding areas. In addition, construction and renovation projects can also create a significant amount of waste materials, such as lumber, bricks, and other building materials. If these materials are not properly disposed of, they can further contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. The impact of construction and renovation projects on the cleanliness of outdoor spaces can be significant. In addition to creating an unsightly appearance, the debris and dust created during these projects can also lead to respiratory issues and other health concerns for those who are exposed to it. To address the issue of construction and renovation projects contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, it is important to establish appropriate safety measures and waste disposal protocols. This can include using tarps and other materials to contain debris and dust, as well as establishing proper waste disposal procedures to ensure that all materials are disposed of in a responsible and environmentally friendly manner. In addition, regular cleaning and maintenance of outdoor spaces can help to mitigate the impact of construction and renovation projects on the cleanliness of the ground outside. This can include sweeping and washing surfaces to remove debris and dust, as well as applying treatments to prevent the buildup of stains and grime. Overall, Construction and renovation projects can have a significant impact on the cleanliness of the ground outside. By establishing appropriate safety measures, waste disposal protocols, and regular cleaning and maintenance schedules, we can work towards creating cleaner and healthier environments for everyone. Reason 9. Industrial activity is a major contributor to the dirtiness of the ground outside, particularly in areas with heavy manufacturing and industrial operations. The processes involved in manufacturing and industrial activities can create a significant amount of dust and debris, which can settle on the ground and surrounding areas. In addition, machinery and equipment used in these processes can leave behind oil and other pollutants that can further contribute to the dirtiness of the environment. The impact of industrial activity on the cleanliness of outdoor spaces can be significant, as the pollutants and debris created during these processes can have negative effects on both the environment and human health. 
Exposure to pollutants such as chemicals and heavy metals can lead to respiratory issues and other health concerns, and can also contribute to soil and water pollution. To address the issue of industrial activity contributing to the dirtiness of the ground outside, it is important to establish appropriate regulations and safety measures. This can include implementing measures to reduce the amount of dust and debris generated by industrial processes, as well as establishing protocols for the proper disposal of waste materials. Regular cleaning and maintenance of outdoor spaces can also help to mitigate the impact of industrial activity on the cleanliness of the ground outside. This can include sweeping and washing surfaces to remove debris and pollutants, as well as applying treatments to prevent the buildup of stains and grime. Overall, industrial activity is a significant contributor to the dirtiness of the ground outside. By establishing appropriate regulations and safety measures, as well as regular cleaning and maintenance schedules, we can work towards creating cleaner and healthier outdoor environments for everyone. Reason 10. Natural processes can also contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. Erosion, for example, can cause soil to be displaced, leading to a buildup of dust and debris on the ground. This can be particularly noticeable in areas where there is heavy foot traffic or machinery use. Decay is another natural process that can leave organic matter on the ground, contributing to the overall appearance of dirtiness. Dead leaves, plants, and other organic matter can accumulate and decompose over time, creating a layer of debris on the ground. This can be exacerbated in areas with high levels of vegetation, such as parks or forests. While natural processes are an inevitable part of the environment, there are steps that can be taken to mitigate their impact on the cleanliness of the ground outside. Regular cleaning and maintenance, including sweeping and removal of debris, can help to keep the area looking clean and presentable. Additionally, Establishing appropriate disposal methods for organic matter, such as composting, can help to reduce the buildup of debris on the ground. In some cases, erosion can be managed through the use of landscaping techniques, such as the implementation of retaining walls or other forms of erosion control. This can help to prevent soil from being displaced and reduce the amount of dust and debris on the ground. Overall, natural processes can contribute to the dirtiness of the ground outside. By implementing appropriate cleaning and maintenance practices, as well as utilizing erosion control measures, we can work towards creating cleaner and more sustainable outdoor environments. So there you have it, 10 reasons why the ground outside can often look dirty. While some of these factors may be out of our control, it's important to do our part to keep the environment clean and healthy. Be sure to like and subscribe for more amazing content.